might be doing a do-over. We might be doing a do-over. It's true. So you guys, I did already do this reading and I was getting it ready to, to post it. And my phone's like, there's not enough room to put the two videos together. Uh, so I was like, okay, I gotta delete some stuff in the storage of my, of my phone. So I went to the trash, deleted all that. And the actual video that I just did that was not in the trash got deleted. So I'm gonna show you what came out and then we're gonna do it all over again. All right. So we had Cancer and Aries energy that had come out together, all right? There might be a brand new thing coming in uh, if you're a Cancer. Spirit's bringing in some brand new, fresh, exciting, passionate fire energy, all right? This is something that's emotional and fun. If you're an Aries, yep, you're, you're going to get something that's emotional and fun and that you can connect with on like a psychic level. Cool. All right. That came out with past life energy was monk or nun. We had stop. And then the finances, the coin came out. Yeah. So somebody might stop doing something they were doing in the past that wasn't bringing in a lot of coin. And now they might be bringing in a new thing. All right. New York came out with the door this is my card for somebody who wants to knock on somebody's door and say knock knock you want to play all right that came out with the wish fulfillment card and an offer all right so i'm gonna just move cancer and aries down here all right, and then next we had Gemini. Here's Gemini. And Gemini came out with the Three of Swords at first. Somebody may have had a, a broken heart. Uh, they may have had the Three of Swords is like the, besides devil energy, it's the worst feeling you can have in the tarot card. Is a, It's a broken heart. Yeah, somebody may have called out to Spirit Source and help me. Are you there, God? Yeah. And God said, yeah. We sent in the high priestess. So the high priestess came out. This is a mother tree. So the mother tree, yep. And if you don't know what a mother tree is, I'm going to put a link down in the comments about mother trees. The mother tree uh, is the tree in the forest that's connected to all the other trees. So they sent in a high priestess, a psychic, an intuitive person, a very magical person, all right? And that came with elk and nobility, all right? Celebrate your accomplishments with humility. You are crowned with success. Powerful forces guide you. Your ability to conquer challenges is limitless. Yeah, and it was like, oh! I kept hearing like a weird elk noise. Oh! <laughs> All right. And then that came with, let's see here. The Eight of Wands and the Hermit. So this is Virgo energy. Somebody may be coming out of their dark night. They may be coming forward, coming to, they may be... Uh, finally coming out of the cave to send a message. The Eight of Wands is love arrows. It's fasting coming messages. All right. Okay. Yep, and then this, this fortune just kind of showed up. You will make many changes before setting satisfactory. <laughs> yeah, somebody might say, oh my God, we're doing this over. Okay. We found who we need. That's what I hear. We found who we need. All right. And then, okay, so that's Gemini's message. Okay. Then I just picked up a handful. This is Aquarius's message. We have the moon coming out with Aquarius. All right. We're going to look at this picture. Now, when I see, when I see the moon, the moon is deep, divine feminine psychic energy, all right? 
it's, it's tapping into psychic energies. It's cords getting connected. So when I see the moon in a card, if, if it's got a face in it, that's a, a symbol to me that somebody has found out something. They found out a secret or a truth or a spirit showed them. Like spirit removed a veil from somebody and said, hey, check this out. All right. So sometimes when, if you can imagine like a full moon that has like the full face, yeah, that's when the person has found out everything there is to know about it. Well, this is only a half a face. So that means, yeah, somebody just found out a little bit. Okay. We have time out that came out. Awareness, contemplation, solitude, and time alone. All right. Past life was health. And then these came out together. State the facts. And it was Idaho. Yeah. Not claiming it, just broadcasting it. Yeah. Idaho. The picture cards that came out were the gate and the cemetery. So the gate, this card for me, is the other person has been watching this person. Somebody went up to his gate, okay, so it's the Divine Masculine. The Divine Feminine may have gone up to this person and said, knock, knock, one play. And they didn't answer. No. They just stayed inside quiet. Yeah. But they've been watching. Yeah, see, they can see through the gate. Yeah, they've been watching this person. Okay. And then this is my card for stepping into the light. Yeah, this is the death card, so scorpionic energy. A cemetery may mean something. All right, so in, in, with this card, the message I get is the person's standing in their shadows and they wanna step into the light. They wanna do this new thing. The wheel is turning. Somebody may have passed. All right, now this isn't predictive, so, uh, if somebody passed, it would have already happened. <coughs> somebody may have needed to clear their throat chakra. All right. All right. And then what else we have showing is time and tide and farewell to the moon. Okay. I hear this message is for all of the above. Okay. This message is for everybody here. Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, and Aries. So I'm going to read them to you and show them to you. Farewell to the moon. Appreciate and enjoy, appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles. And my immortal beloved, this ode to joy, set us both free. Okay. Time and tide. Oceanic spells and rituals. Somebody may do a cleanse. Okay. Now that came out with the arts. Past life. These people may have been musicians together in a past life. They may have been performers together. All right. This is my card for the innocent person that's coming in with open and honest communication. And then we had, state the facts, Nebraska and North Dakota came out. So Nebraska and North Dakota might mean something. And then finally, the animal cards that popped were Swan and Goose. And these are my cards for the Divine Feminine Energy and the Divine Masculine Energy. So the Divine Masculine may be coming, uh, coming back, coming home, coming toward the Divine Feminine, or he may be sending for her. Okay? So let's hear about it. I'm going to let you look at the goose while I read about the swan. <laughs> swan in grace. You who glide across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. That's what this Divine Masculine is thinking about, the Divine Feminine. Goose, inner knowing. You are a brave traveler 
Your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry. You are blessed. Let yourself fly. Yes, yeah, somebody may uh, fly in an airplane. Somebody may come back home after a long journey. All right. So there's the, the current messages, guys. Uh, let's pop some cards to, uh-huh. Okay, I'm looking at Island Time Wellness here. All right. Yeah, we may have a do-over. Okay. We have the snake. Completion. Enemy. Clever. Malicious. Look over your shoulder in the other woman. Now, it says competition, but I totally saw it saying completion. All right, there may have been a third-party interference person. Yeah, they kind of fucked it all up the first time. Spirit set it straight. I hear spirits stepped in. No, they're not letting you get blackmailed. Okay, all right. Somebody may have had a mole within their, their community, their company or something. Twin flames, yin-yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, and complement each other. All right, we're going to take one more. Somebody may have cleared the curse of the lizard lady narcissist, so now they can bring in their true twin flame, their divine counterpart. Final message. Final message for overall collective. Final message. There we go. The runner. Runner in codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy and listening to ego. Spirit had to work on that for the Divine Masculine. We have seduction. Yeah, this Divine Masculine, they got their pilot light lit by a muse. It helped cut the cord to a twin flame catalyst, and they may be coming to their muse now, ready to start a whole new thing. Let's do a split. Oh, weird. I split it. Look at that. I split it, and this one card was flipped. Oh my God, look at that. Love and a date. How magical and exciting. This new thing is going to be magical and exciting. All right. When you're doing a twin flame divine purpose, that means you're, yeah, you're coming together with somebody to do a bigger thing for the community that helps heal the community. Somebody may want to go on a date and talk about it. All right. We have love being brought in. Unconditional love. Self-love. Oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Oh, my darling. Surprise, here's your love life. Date, meeting someone new. Dating, get back out there. Plan or set a date. All right, there's your messages. Sounds exciting. Peace out. Love ya. The do-over is going to be amazing.